Okay, shalom, shalom. Kum yesha ala kuholim la. Yahweh b'Hashem, Yahweh Shai b'Hashem, Rakha Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh b'Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. Shachana on the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I just wanted to go off into uh, favor. It was just, you know, kind of dawned on me while I was at the plantation, you know, riding, meditating, you know, and, um, you know, and as I was praying, you know, I, I prayed for favor, you know, because it's, and it was, it's rare, you know, it just dawned on me, like, why, you know, why don't we, you know, add in favor to our prayer, asking Yahweh about Shimei Abishai for favor. Because favor it goes a long ways, man. You know, when you can ask a... Say, for instance, you can ask a favor of somebody. You might say, for, for example, um, can you take me somewhere? You know, uh, uh, my car's down or whatever, whatever. But can you take me to such and such, such and such? I don't have any cash for any gas or anything. But, you know, uh, you know, I'm just... Please, can you do that favor for me? And a person might say, oh, man, that ain't nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Where you need to go? I'll take you to wherever you need to go. And here, hey, here's a couple of dollars too. You know, and put this fifty ball in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? She have a little bread on you. You know, that's that's favor. That <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ain't looking for nothing back. They already got gas. They, you know, and and they're not worried about you giving them gas money or whatever. Now you might ask a person and say, hey, can you do a favor for me? You know, um, I need to go to such and such, such and such. Can you take me? I don't have any gas money right now or whatever. And that person might say, well, shit. You ain't finna use my gas You know you gotta give me something And though they can have a pocket full of money And some gas already a damn fill up Already you know so just wanted to use An example of you know favor So I have the definition here Now in the, in the, in the scriptures is you know It is you know uh, uh, Spelled with a U F-A-V-O-U-R You know so that's kind of like Old English but, you know, in the regular regular English, you know what I'm saying? They kind of drop the U. It's almost like neighbor. The word neighbor has a U in the scriptures as well. But, you know, regular, you know, um, English neighbor, it doesn't. They drop the U. So, but this is favor. The number one um, definition for it is approval, support, or liking for someone or something. See? And then they have, you know, the assemblers, approval, um, approbation, Accommodation, esteem, goodwill, kindness, benevolence, and friendliness. Then they have a secondary, um, well, they do have the other dictionary as a verb. This is of the, of the that dictionary, um, Salakia. That particular um, definition is, is a noun, right? And number two on it, they, they have an act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. See? Now, the... Um, Next one, as a verb, it says feel or show approval or preference for. See? Number two, it says often used in polite request. Give someone something that they want. See? And so they have um, oblige, accommodate, gratify, satisfy, humor, indulge, pander to, put oneself out for. So that will be, you know, pretty much. You know, um, kind of like one of the ones. Then they have, um, yeah, it's a few more. So you get the point with the with the with the definition. So I just wanted to go up, you know, pulled a couple of scriptures with the, you know, going into favor. So let's go to Psalms real quick, because this is very important to pray for, man. The Lord's favor, you know, when you can get favor from the Lord, it's not like some regular, you know, regular person type of favor. You know, favor from the Lord, man, is like, ah, oh, it's like, it's just, it covers so many things that you can't even imagine. You know, you won't even be thinking on certain things. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the, you know, because the Lord is going to go that extra length, you know, for things that you hadn't even thought about. He's going to give to you as well or do for you as well. You know, like, oh, man, I didn't need that. You know, you, you come across some people and they'll just be like, you know. I got, you know, one of, you know, um, one of the brothers in the camp, he's like that, you know, generally uh, the brothers are like that, but you know, they'll go above and beyond within their favor towards you to do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, that's, that's needed for you. You know, they, they, they'll go be above and beyond. Oh man. Well, I ain't need that too. Nah, man. Take that, take that, take that. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is for you. 
here, man, don't hey, you know, and Jake be like, oh, man, come on, bro, I don't want to take, nah, bro, you're going to take this here, you know, <laughs> so let's get, uh, 119, Psalms chapter 119, let's go to verse 58. Okay, uh, yeah, verse 58 here. Let me highlight that. It says, I entreated thy favor. Let me see. Oh, let me start at 57. And that's the um, Hebrew word, um, the Hebrew letter, k, you know, k. thou art my portion, O Yahweh. I have said that I would keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word so right here he's saying he entreated he entreated the lord with his whole heart so what is entreat let's go into the word entreated Halah, h 2470 let's see i know this internet moving kind of slow so lock here i know the apostle was having a little problem with his blue letter today he entreated, it says, to be or become weak, be or become sick, be or become diseased, be or become grieved, be or become sorry. That's number one. Right? Okay, so they have, um, yeah, it's quite a few to this one. It goes from A through um, G. Hmm. This is the one right here, though. To entreat, pray, beg. See what I'm saying? That's that's the one that's pretty much fitting that one. Uh, yep, it says pray. Make prayer. Also to a flatter, also to a stroke and flattering. Entreat. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's something that you're going after, basically. Okay, so let's go back. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. So that's why it's important. Like when you're praying, you pray the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah pretty much back to him. It's like, you know, you, re you remind him of what he said, you know, according to his word. Well, Yahweh, you said this. I'm praying and asking you for this, you know, because it's your will. And if it's the will of the Lord, you know, he's going to give it to you. And then also, you know, the scripture goes off into one. Um, let me get this real quick. I didn't have this on deck right off, but this comes to mind because when you're praying to the Lord, you have to be praying with faith, man. All faith. You can't doubt. You can't lack, you know, faith. You, you can't be doubting. This is James 1 and 5. It says, if any of you lack wisdom, because because the wisdom actually comes with favor. Let him ask of Yahweh that give it to all men liberally. And upbraid if not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. See? For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his way, his ways. And that's favor right there just by knowing that. See, that favor goes a long ways. Just by, you know, you knowing this particular scripture right here to pray without doubting, to pray without wavering. That's favor from the Lord because he was favorable to, enough to show you that, hey, this is how you come to me. Because other than that, you're not going to be able to get nothing from me. <laughs> that's favor. You know what I'm saying? In a, in a nutshell, that's 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 a part of the favor. You know, that wisdom, you know. So let's go back. Let's get the next precept. Let's go to Proverbs. And there's so many of them. I just I just pulled a few. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse uh, 4. Oh, man, there's so much on this. I can start from the top. Verse 1. I, I love Proverbs, man. It, it, it's just it's so much wisdom in there. A lot of favor in there. You know what I'm saying? It says, my son. Proverbs 3 and 1. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. That's favor. See, by no, see, the Lord is showing favor 
just by showing you what he's what he desires or what he um he wants of you. It's favor to be in his truth. It's favor to know what the Lord um, has waken us up to. It's favor to know this thing. It's favor to know the true name of the Father, Yahweh, which means that, you know, he exists or the existing one. It's favor to know the true son of uh, uh, the true name of his son, um, Salakia, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. That's favor. Because if you didn't know those names, you couldn't properly pray. But he has shown favor to sh and, and shown you that the, the, those beautiful um, secrets. It's, it's, it's favor, man, to know the secrets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so it goes on to say, Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So this is, hey, that's, he's showing you how to get down. Verse 4 is the point, so shalt thou find favor. He's showing you how you find favor. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Favor. The favor is, 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 is this wisdom and, and, and knowing, you know, he, him giving you the, the, the blueprint as to how to move about out here. That's favor. You know how many people running around out here, man, they, they, they don't know what the hell going on. They panicking. They're making hasty moves. They're getting themselves in trouble. They're leaning upon their own understanding. So, and that don't work. See, it's favor to know, all right, well, you know what? The Lord said, wait, I'm going to pray and I'm going to wait on him. I'm not going to go out here and make a carnal move. I'm going to wait on you. How about Shemia was shot? He knows best. His timing is best. You know, that, that's, that's, that's truly favor, man. Let's go to, um, Another one in Proverbs, chapter 8. Let's get um, 8 and 35. Or I could start at, um, let me start at verse 33. It says, hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whosoever findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord Yahweh, man. Well, shimmy, I was shy, man. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So if you don't love the wisdom of Yahweh, by shimmy, I was shy. These people out here that you see running around, hey, they, they, they have no idea that they're in love with death. They're in the bed. They're in bed with death. You see? Because this is going into that wisdom. It, it, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is really truly um, um, grace and favor. If you know it, you know what I'm saying, in the proper way. So you got Christians running around out here. They can quote scriptures, but are they actually, you know, delving into it the way that they're supposed to? They think that they have um, favor. That's why you'll see some of these Christians and you'll be like, hey, how you doing? You, you see them. You know, I used to be in the church, you know what I'm saying, before I came in. It's true. Oh, yeah, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored. Oh, yeah. But you don't know the true name of the father. You don't know the true name of the son. Yahweh and Yahweh side. You don't know that you're an Israelite. Where's the favor in that? <laughs> you know? Okay, so let's get another one. Let's go to um, chapter 11. Proverbs 11 and 27. Maybe I'll start up one. Yeah, let me just get to the point. Verse 27. He that diligently seeketh good. Let me see. Verse 26. Uh, yes, a little more we can get on here, I guess. Man, so much. Anyway, but let's start at 24. There is that scattereth and yet increaseth. And there is that withholdeth more than is meat, but it tendeth to poverty. So, you know, that's going off into, you know, pretty much someone's seed, so to speak, you know. Scriptures talks about, you know, I'm um, throwing your, um, you know, spreading your bread upon many waters. I, I forgot exactly how it's, it's quoted, but, you know, to um, alms, you know, the scriptures talks about alms, especially in the Apocrypha is really um, the book of Tobit, you know, but it talks about your alms and giving, you know what I'm saying? And how far giving goes, because it actually says that, you know, um, uh, to the extent of it, it, even if a person doesn't return it to you, 
The Lord know what you have done and he'll reward you. So that's favor, man. He's showing you how to, you know, move about in the earth. You know what I'm saying? To, to give. And, 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 and of course, there's no you have no choice but to receive because his word will not return to him void. So whatever you put out, it's going to come back to you, so to speak. Right. But um, verse um, 25, it says the liberal soul shall be made fat and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. See, so. There's going to come a time, even like in this truth right now, what, you know, even with the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you, you know, pretty much putting in this time, so to speak, you're going to get a reward out of that. Eventually, there's going to come a plant or, um, a, you know, fruit from that, you know, the time that you're spending in, in the scriptures, the time, because there's going to come a point where everything that we have within us that we've learned, um, as far as, you know, like according to um, Isaiah 33 and 6, where it talks about the wisdom and knowledge st shall be the um, stability of our times. You know, that, that right there is, is going to go off into, it's kind of similar as well. You know? So, that, so it, it, you know, it's kind of um, a, a, a double, uh, uh, like a um, double fold, so to speak. But it says, a liberal soul shall be made fat, and he that watereth shall be watered also himself. He that withhold corn, the people shall curse him. But blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it. He that diligently seeketh good, procureth favor. See that word favor right there. But he that seeketh mischief, it shall come, it shall come unto him. Psh, man. In the NLT it says, if you search for good, you will find favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. See? He that is diligently, he that diligently seeketh good, What's the good that you should be diligently seeking? This word. Yeah, how about Shimei outside? What he said. You should be constantly trying to, you know what I'm saying, do the best that you can. And the Lord knoweth the heart. You know what I'm saying? He knows that we're just, you know, um, mere humans here. You know what I'm saying? But he definitely knows, you know, that you're, he knows the heart. He knows that you're trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. So let's get um, another one. Let's go to chapter 12. Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 2. Let's start from verse 1. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. But he that hateth reproof is brutish. A good man obtaineth favor of Yahweh. But a man of wicked devices will be condemned. Will he condemn Salakia? In the NLT it says to learn, you must love discipline. It is stupid to hate correction. The Lord approves of those who are good, but he condemns those who plan wickedness, man. So that favor, it goes a long ways, man. Because, it, you know, it, it's to have, I mean, it, 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 it's really unfathomable to favor. The, thing, the things that the Lord really does for us on a day-to-day -day basis, we can't even, you know, we don't really think on all those things. You can't. You can't think of all the things that he actually really does for you. I mean, we can think like, okay, I can see, I can hear, you know what I'm saying? You know, I can, you know, I'm walking okay. You know, my arms is good. You know, my, you know, my, but you can't fathom, you know, you don't really be thinking of like, you know, how your, your breathing automatically happens. Your, your, you know, your, your thinking, your, your mindset, your, you know, having a, a, a same mind and not being bugged all out your mind out here. You know, um, just, it's so many things, the protections that you have as you travel to and from, you know, um, just, you know, being able to, you know, uh, put some food on the table, you know, <laughs> your daily bread, your, you know, all those things, man. And it's so many more, but anyway, let's, let's go to chapter 13. Proverbs 13 and 15. I'm gonna start at 13 as I got this highlighted. This is a, a, a classic too. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed. See that? There's no favor in, in despising the word. <laughs> you should love the words of Yahweh by Shemel But he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. That word, let me, let me see what this word re reward goes into. Because a reward can somewhat be like favor as well. To be in a covenant of peace, be at peace. Hey, that's favor, though, man, to be at peace, man. There's a lot of people out here that's not at, at peace at all. Then they have a secondary one to be complete. 
See, to be complete, be finished, be ended, to be sound, be uninjured. See that? To complete, finish, to make safe, make whole or good, restore, make compensation, to make good, pay. <laughs> hey, look, man, hey, you, can't, you can't get around it, man. That, it's a beautiful thing, man. That reward, it goes, you know, it's somewhat of a reward, man, to have favor, man. Let's say, let's, let's, let's get another one. Let's get, uh, let's go to Proverbs chapter 14. Only got a few more. Proverbs 14 and 9. I'm going to get two out of this chapter here. Let's get verse 9 and uh, verse 35. Let me get verse 8. Start there. It says, the wisdom of, of the prudent is to understand his way. See? It's favor to understand the way of the Lord. But the folly of fools is deceit. Whew, there's no favor in that, man. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous, there is favor. Can't get around it, man. Fools make a mock at sin. You see these niggas rolls running around, man. They, hey, Jake, man, they just, they love sin. They're saturated in it. They can't, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't want to be around anybody that's got anything to do with good. If it's not, if it don't have anything to do with something bugged out, or, 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 you know, just, um, just fucked up. Jake don't want nothing to do with it, man. You know, they look at sin like, oh man, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. What you mean, man? You know, they enjoy it, man. And you know, um, what's that? Romans 1 and 32. It talks about how, um, not only do they do it, but you know, roughly paraphrasing, but they, they pretty much rejoice in the ones that do it as well. And cheering a nigga on, man, in wickedness, man. You know, but anyway, let's get, um, let's get verse 35 in here too. And again, I pray that this, you know, this lesson is edifying. I'm just saying, add this to your prayer. Just pray to your whole about Shemel Shah for his favor. Quick prayer. Quick prayer. You know? Verse 35, it says, the king's favor is towards a wise servant, but his wrath is against him that causes shame. See? And what's how how do you be a wise servant? By by listening to what the Lord said, getting his wisdom, listening to what he said to do and doing it, not going against it, not bucking up against it. You know? Being slow to anger. All these things that you learn and as you go on, the Lord is building you, He's refining you. That's favor. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Like you can I mean you should be super duper thankful. That the Lord is actually dealing with you, man. Well, let's get chapter 19. I got two more. Yahweh Ratazah. Proverbs 19 and 12. The king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. Can't get around it. Who's the main king? Yahweh. You know? His son, our king. You know? So if you're keeping what the king said to do, <laughs> hey, you don't want to be a part of the, the, the Lord's wrath, man. Hey, the Lord is about to do two-thirds of our people all kinds of dirty. You know his favor that 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 if you avoid if you can get around that, I mean, you know, by if the Lord shows favor and you're a part of the elect, oh man. And that's why we ask for mercy. But it says, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. And you know, like when dew, a dew is, is good for vegetation. It's watering. You know, it, it moisturizes the, 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 you know, the soil, so to speak, and it helps it grow. So it's growth to that. Well, let's get one more. Chapter 22 and verse 1. It says, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. And loving favor rather than silver and gold. See that? That's why that favor is so important. See, you got people out here, they running around out here, you know, would you rather be in a P. Diddy situation <laughs> or knowing it's true? Because you can clearly see where he's at. He has the favor of the world. Or at least he did. You you know, you don't want that carnal favor from niggas. You want the real spiritual favor from you. How about Shimei Awashai? It says a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. See? A person like Diddy right now, his name is not, not hey, his, you know, his name is being dragged right now. They even, you know, got had a phrase like Diddy do it. 
P. Diddy do it. <laughs> you know, you know, hey, man, it says in loving favor rather than silver and gold, man. In the NLT, it says choose a good reputation over great riches. Being held in high esteem is better than silver and gold, silver or gold. Can't get around that, man. So, you know, again, you know, I just wanted to just touch on this because it was like, like, I, you know, I was just driving and I was, you know, praying. And it hit me like, you know, hey, you know, I, 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 I haven't been praying for favor. Let me pray for some favor out here, man. Favor goes a long way, straight up. You know, because the Lord, he can direct your path towards cheaper items. You know what I'm saying? Or, you, you know, uh, just things and, you know, he can run you across somebody that, that matter of fact, can shit, walk you in a path for finding a couple hundred dollars on the ground or something, or whatever the case may be. You know, getting information from somebody or somebody doing a favor for the Lord can have somebody do a favor for you or just pop up like, man, I thought about you. Because when you're dealing with the Lord's favor, you're dealing with the with the mindset of, of pretty much the universe and everything that he created. It's kind of like you're in there and have access to whatever's around you, so to speak. <laughs> I, you know, trying to word it, you know, it, it, it's like it's unlimited. It's unlimited, man. Like I had a neighbor a couple of houses over from me last week or whatever. He's like, oh, man, hey, you, uh, I don't know where he went. You know what I'm saying? But, man, he had groceries. He's like, oh, man, you know, I, you know, I got this. Everybody, I had, gave me a couple of bags of groceries. I'm just standing out doing a lesson. <laughs> I'm standing out on the sidewalk doing a lesson in front of the house. And he walks down with some bags. And then he went back and got back, you know, some more. That's favor from you. How about some of side, man? That's the type of, see, we're going to need stuff like that in these last days. Because when Esau hit the button, so to speak, you know, with this MOTB, you know what I'm saying? When he goes off into that market of beast mode and he's got everybody lined up to get chipped and you can't do nothing without, without that shit. The Lord is going to have favor on, on, on the children of Israel, the, um, the elect of Israel. Man, he's going to have favor on you to 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 have people doing stuff for you that that, you know, they wouldn't have never even done. Miracles going to start to pop up, man. It's going to be that's going to be real. For, the Lord going to going to show some super duper favor towards the children of Israel, man, that are part of the elect, man. For real, it's going to, you know, with people going to be out here struggling. All we got to do is just kick back. Just think about, you know, um, um Daniel. And, you know, when, when, you know, he was fed, um, um, all the different prophets when they was fed, you know what I'm saying? When they was in situations and, and, um, you know, just all those situations in the scriptures where the Lord showed favor and actually took care of the men of the Lord. So that's something to be looking forward to, man. But, you know, pray for it. Ain't nothing wrong, nothing wrong with, hey, that, that's something you should be for sure praying for. Why not? That's the will of the Lord. He, if you're into this truth and you're, 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 you know, you're doing what you're supposed to do. The Lord, he wants to show you favor. He's going to, the scripture, we just read the scriptures where that's what he's going to do anyway. If, if, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, you know, but you know, just pray for it. That's that's something extra to add into your prayer, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.